I hope you've enjoyed this Halloween special. This will be the exciting finale, but next week, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled wonderful. Hi. Eh. Uh. And we're Hello. back, getting right into it. A, a young goth child has surfed in on a wave of crows into a room made of comprised of mostly mirrors as you watch your dear friend Kevin uh, uh, a bewithered. I don't know if bewithered's a word, but I like what I just said. I like I'm going to go with it. B a bewithered wizard version of your friend Kevin uh, is swept underneath this sort of torrent of crows as you guys are all approached and uh, the young lad pulls up a uh, uh, Plague Doctor-esque like crow style mask huh, huh, and looks down on you and says hello billy i don't remember the kid's voice but i do remember him it saying was something that, like that. <laughs> danny buttons and and you, and you realize buttons. indeed it is in fact danny buttons danny buttons what a great name kyle thank you i just think that the last name buttons is so cute and yeah, funny at is. the same time oh my god like I would love to if I could name my kid Buttons legally and not have anyone talk shit about my kid being named Buttons, I would. <laughs> uh, anyhow, Benjamin Button, uh, cutest. This buttons. this I this uh, teen seeming more of sound mind than the other uh, few, uh, but obviously imbued with this uh, weird crow magic, uh, approaches like you on a like. Uh, I, I'd say a sort of miasma esque kind of like not glow. It's like 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 yuck. Yucky bad vibes are seeping mm. off him. It's like, like they a, got like, the blight. Yeah, yeah, mm. or like stink lines that are like stink evil. Stink the goblin. Or, or <laughs> if you've ever seen a still from JoJo and there's like the whir, 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 and yeah, it's like the yeah, words yeah, kind yeah, of coming yeah. off of them. Mm. It's like that, but like. Crow, 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 crow. Like <laughs> evil. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh it's God. like that coming off of him, but it's like evil and like kind of burgundy and black. Mm. It's very, and he's like looking down at you with those same sort of like tumultuous like moving colorful eyes like fully just lost in the sauce of the power but he's leaning into it oh because he's a dickhead obviously dude are we about uh, to so fight it seems itachi? As he's a bit more what's that are, are we about to fight itachi like what's happening oh i don't i don't know i was thinking more like <laughs> i have confused myself is kevin here or is kevin has been consumed by the wave of crows kevin uh, is here it no, in, no, within no, no, the crows. No, no, no. Or did Kevin leave? Jeremy Kevin was consumed was by the wave of crows because he got cut oh. off early in the room by a different mirror. Oh, I yeah, phased yeah, yeah, yeah. through the mirror to chase after them. Mm. So, I think, okay, I, thank you so I, much. So I, I hope that's been, been a while. I, I just thought edited, I was in a room with it. the one. Uh, okay, I thought I was in the room with one of the people who got me kicked yeah. out of. Yeah, that's the guy you're in the room with. Danny Buttons and you in this room. Yes, yes, that's yes. what I thought. That's what I thought. Granted, that's what I, was I Sorry. should be coming in behind Danny. Button, yes, yes, so. yes, yes. I was just like, I was like, well, Kevin's here. I didn't know yes. Kevin was no, here. No, no, Kevin I, got separated yeah. from you all. Yeah. He and Milo are on one, are on one end. Yes. Now I'm remembering, yes. Okay. He and Milo are on one end. You guys got swept into an entirely different portion of well, this area swept. that he was closed like off. like a good boy. Yes. Mm. Uh, Milo followed a along after you, and so it's the three of you in one room and the two of you out in kind of like a hall of mirrors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not sure quite how to get to it, but obviously by the yeah. nature of it being a hall of mirrors, there's a way to get to yeah. everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we will focus in now on the, the 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 sort of like room. It's not so much like a bunch of crows. Like I, I can't stress this enough. It's like it's like some Studio Ghibli shit. Like it's like a crow head, a crow foot, yes. and like just a mass of moving feathers oh, and darkness. Yeah. It's Jesus. it's very much Crazy not like terrifying. discernible. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a discernible thing, and like it's just a guy like, that exists in the bathhouse from Spirited Away. Oh, yeah, God. like that, like the way he's like all yucky and full of stuff, mm -hmm. but the stuff is crows, yeah, and the yuck is the wave that this child stands on. He looks down upon you uh, as he kind of like lets your head break the surface of this uh, stuff as he says your name, and he doesn't know you were in the room, Milo, because you're intangible uh, right now. Clancy, uh, Clancy. Clancy, Clancy, yes, Clancy, not Milo, my bad. Uh, so, uh, Billy, what do you do after he says hello to you? It's so just out of what you can you're I not do like outside trapped. of, okay. So I'm not, what is your mind's eye saying you'd like to do in this scenario? He hasn't like, tr like you're within this mass of like crow detritus, but like, yeah. you're free to do whatever it is you feel and funky and fresh about it. So, you know, I genuinely, so I think he would be like, so uh, you can go ahead and do like your villain monologue because I've got like a lot of 
I'm going to beat the shit out of you to take out some aggression that you caused me before you were like a weird monster. And this situation has kind of justified anything I do to you. So if you want to do any cool like villain monologue, now's the time because in a minute you're going to be on the ground. I honestly didn't have a monologue planned. It just and he so is happened. interrupted. Okay, cool. And I want the no, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he, he is interrupted by uh, Clancy popping back into uh, corp- corporeal form. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. going to use the move once again. What could go wrong? Uh, whenever you charge into immediate danger without hedging your bets, which I've explained, I really only do for uh, for Billy's sake. Uh, I can uh, hold two. And I'm going to come into uh, a corporeal form, like I said, right behind him and stab him with my uh, pocket knife that I have. Oh, my God. Uh, And I am going to spend both of those holds to hopefully inflict two extra harm. Okay, go for it, yeah. Kick some ass. It's plus zero. Kick that ass. That is a nine, but what I'll do is I'll spend one of those holds to make it an 11 so it's a full success spend the mm-hmm. spend the other one to uh inflict an additional harm so that should be okay, two yeah. harm to him two harm yes okay i think you you honestly do catch him off guard and he falls back as you stab him and you you said you came up behind him yeah i think i stabbed uh, him in like I, the back of the shoulder yeah exactly you know that's I'm not a, like that's going perfect. for the that's neck exactly. or anything that's a no, little right, like, right in the back <laughs> of the crow I think as he like is stabbed, he kind of stumbles forward off of the wave of crows a bit, and they disperse, leave, letting you kind of fall to the ground, Billy. But as he's falling forward, you just see a rippling of feathers as his body literally shifts, facing you like that uh, that scene in uh, Thor when he thinks he beats the robot and it turns around. Oh, like, all no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking God. about? You know what you're talking about. Like, so terrifying. He fully does that with like the crow feathers in his look oh, you in your eyes, Milo, with this like Clancy. roiling, like, uh, yeah, Clancy, uh, with this like roiling red and black in his eyes. And he opens his mouth and like the cawing of a thousand crows, like, <laughs> comes out as he's like filled with this like rage from you stabbing him and he and is going a, to try to and then a wrench hits him uh, in the back of the head he's going to try to take a swipe at yep. you and he fully whiffs it on Hell, a uh, yeah yes. he rolled wait is a six what's a six, six is, is a, a six fail. mixed no six, six seven eight nine yeah, no, yeah so he fully he, gains he fully whiffs it and yeah, he, he swings out experience. with his <laughs> 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 He, he swipes out and his hand extends and becomes like this like faux crow's talon of like cool. uh, like an amalgam of like crows as he swings at you. But you kind of like phase Danny Phantom style through his hand as he fully misses you because you hadn't quite re- fully realized in that in that space. Yeah. And then just uh, then a large wrench hits him on the back of the head that Billy threw. <laughs> oh shit! Did you roll for it, bud? I did. I rolled a. I rolled seven. Uh, and I think I get plus one because he's a part of that group that we established was my like favorite mm-hmm. prayer or whatever. So eight to hit him. And eight then, is a mixed success, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. And then it's another plus one. It gets it to nine because it's my specialty. Really. None yeah. of that matters because it's all mixed. well within. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, mixed success. But yeah, I think, I think as he misses Milo kind of being distracted by that, you do clobber him in the back of the head for how much? Uh, three harm. Oh shit! Damn! Holy! It's a heavy shit. wrench. Three harm. Yeah. That's crazy. I wow. mean, it makes sense. It's, um, but it's a heavy yeah, wrench. I think, I think at this moment. Oh wait, hold he's on. So focused. I'm sorry. It's four harm if it's against the specific group thing. Oh dude. yeah, I think instead of crows and like the whole shebang, you see literal blood for a moment as he is bashed across the head and like kind of is caught off guard because he's not focusing on like using his powers to deflect some of this stuff. And he stumbles into like an almost like a splash effect, like the, 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 like the, like sort of like wave of crows uh, disperses as he hits the ground and they sort of vanish, leaving like a few crows kind of circling overhead. Uh, hey, he is looking rough. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, fair. That's four damage. Four harm is crazy. I think uh, the wrench is good. Yeah, I know. I, I think I think with that he uh, he kind of like sits up and like shoots like a bloody snot rocket out of his nose and sort of like cracks his knuckles and looks towards you, Billy, and just kind of concentrates his hand and you see his eyes flare up with that magic and like it seems as though he's concentrating this last bit of his energy on. Fucking you up. Uh, totally fine. 
No fear. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, he misses entirely. Damn. Damn. Can't, this dude I can't sucks. believe you let this dude bully you. Yeah, I, so dude, I was thinking the same <laughs> thing. What a lame-ass <laughs> bully. <laughs> this dude, he didn't bully me. He tricked moment. the teachers into getting me in trouble. Oh, oh yeah. In yeah. that moment, uh, Billy, give me a act under pressure. Uh, uh, seven. So another mixed success. Um... Also, that's twice I've rolled a six and a you one. See, you, you see this and almost preternaturally dodge this sort of torrent of like blood red energy and crows uh, that is blasted towards you. And you kind of, in this moment, uh, you have an opportunity to take, take him out and you almost seize it in a way that's like, not you're not thinking in this moment. You're just acting. Uh, can you go ahead and... Uh, Give me another act under pressure. A different seven. <laughs> oh, a different se- No, yeah, no. I think, I think you're able to gain your composure with that, mm-hmm. and you don't fully lean into it, but you do notice that both of your hands are now fully exposed, and it is that claw-like, sort of like faux wolfish material, almost costume-esque. Mm-hmm but like somehow real, like if that makes uh, sense. Yes. Then I feel like the most werewolfy thing that he would do if he has like this opening is I think he's going to try to jam his claws through, uh, through his heart, through his, Holy crow, shit, yeah. through give the me, red crow inside. Him. Hell yeah. Yeah. Give, give me a kick some ass. Seven. No, so, so yes, but it's six plus one. Seven. Let's go. I got a two of four and then the plus one because he's no. Man, I think really so. Dead. I, think I don't seven. like this guy. Yeah. I think you stab your claws in, but he kind of grabs your arm as well for. Let's see. That's fine. I'll take it. Oh, let's see. Yeah, that's a uh, that's one harm. Okay. Uh, as he starts to like sear his like handprint in you and you hold, uh, holding you there, but when you stab into his chest, you feel something at the tips of your claws like a solid object within this sort of like swirling energy. The planchette. Ooh. Or a piece of it. Can can I like grab it and pull or? Um, what do you, I don't know, what role would be? <laughs> it's because it's not like quite a kick some ass, but it's not quite like a uh, investigate a mystery. Act under pressure? Uh, yeah, probably act under pressure. Sure. It could yeah. be weird. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it feels kind of like act know. under pressure. Yeah. You're trying to like, while Dude, you're in the heat of can this. I- can I tell you guys how blessed I am that we're fighting someone I get a plus one to? Because that was another, that was another six, six plus one. Yep. <laughs> oh, Seven go. king! Seven. Okay, yeah, I think... I'm on the edge of failure! Dude, you need to I go I think a Vegas. mixed success in this case for you <laughs> isn't a full obliteration of this child. <laughs> but I think, I think you do separate the planchette from this entity and he sort of stumbles back for a moment and uh kind of throws his head back in like a like crazy his body begins to shake and crows begin to like leave his mouth and mass exodus just like a crazy amount of crows fill the room for a moment and then disperse in this sort of black mist uh as he falls to the ground just unconscious and you hold in your hand another piece of the planchette wow i I just looked down at him and like i still fucking hate you and I walk off. Dude's <laughs> fucking unconscious. Like, he's, he's I, is, uh, is that a, another piece of the planchette thing? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Mm. Oh, also, hold on. I didn't properly. Billy, no, I was just about to that say, was awesome. No, I, I was just fun. about to say, Billy, give me a roll. Oh. Give me a uh, weird roll Ooh, to see if you notice Milo. Speciality. Oh, Milo's here? No, not, not, no, I don't no, not how... Milo. I mean, I, Clancy, goddamn okay, it. I'm so no, sorry. Okay, no, actually, I'm not going to get the plus I'm trying one, to see right? if... What? I'm not going to get a plus one, right? Because this isn't directly related to. No, no. Uh, then I got. Yeah. I finally got the six that the game has been trying to give me the whole time. <laughs> yeah, no, Clancy. I think you say that out loud and like go for a high five, and I don't think he noticed. Oh, I thought I, I'm, I'm corporeal, corporeal. Remember? Oh wait, no. Yeah, you did yeah. say you became tangible. You're right. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, so we high five. Yeah. Oh, I thought this. I thought that little role was for me to figure out what to do with the planchette. No, I, I'll take oh. it. I, 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 I'll take it. I think I took the last piece. No, yeah, you guys have two pieces and they kind of fit oh, together. Weirdly, like a puzzle piece. Oh, <laughs> wow. 
I, I'm no, no. It's the I, Millennium Puzzle. It, it, but it, but the they Pharaoh. do fit together because Milo, it broke. Kevin, where are you? We we killed the crow g- guy. Yeah. Meanwhile, killed. out in the hall, we killed a crow. <laughs> This is Milo and Kevin. Uh, yeah, you guys, I don't know. I, what would be a role to see if you actually could solve a fucking mirror? But Probably investigate a mystery. Y- yeah. yeah, give me an investigate. Oh, okay. Or, yeah. To see if you guys can follow the sound of the their voices shouting out to you, too. Oh, my God. Uh, natural 12. Wow. Hell <laughs> okay, yeah, no. I think you you just, like, immediately hone in mirrors. on it. I don't know. You knew mirrors aren't real. You <laughs> How learned can mirrors, mirrors aren't real, be real? So you can just walk through them. So yeah. Kevin, uh, Kevin, you know how can mirrors be real if you know our no, eyes exactly. aren't real? <laughs> and as I soon mean, as you say that, you almost apparate right in front of their door. <laughs> as soon as you he say that, Jaden Smith apparates in the room with oh, you. <laughs> what up, Jaden? I think it's at this point James you guys kind of Doctor Frankenstein in our universe. <laughs> yeah. Oh my fucking god! And he's doing his accent from uh, that that one movie with him and Will Smith where they're on After Earth. After Earth. Karate oh, Kid. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing his after. He has an accent. He does. <laughs> Go watch after. Yes, he does. No, no, no not yes, after Karate does. Kid. He has an accent in Karate Kid. I know he does. It. Okay, I, I heard it was terrible. It's just his voice. After Earth is so bad. It's not good. Oh, Don't watch God. it. So, Anyhow, so what should um, we? I guess we should go looking for more, like where the yeah. crows are congregating. Wait, what about the wizard? Is he okay? I thought he was hurt. That's Kevin. Uh, I don't right? know. I'm okay. <laughs> I just juiced a bit of the, I used a bit too much of the old. I got real excited about the power stuff, and now I'm kind of old, very, very old. Wait, yeah, I'm I, confused. I would be careful. You're Kevin. Yes. I thought who was the guy that was super nice to us and became the head crow? I thought his. Oh, name that's was Kevin. Kent. No, no, that's Kent. Oh. I, I haven't. Kevin I haven't was the guy him. in also, the dinosaur. Apparently, me getting old got rid of my lisp, and not because that's an annoying voice. <laughs> that's <laughs> Listen, true. with lisp, learn to work on it. It can, yeah. Maybe it slips out of me. As I got old, my headgear also got old, and it rusted off my body. <laughs> my body grew around my headgear. That's no. yeah, I'm a terrible I'm monster. I'm the Iron Man. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is like those, me, now it's like a tree nights. that grew it's through a fence. Yeah, he literally <laughs> has like a nasty exoskeleton. No. Like, I have five nights scary. at Freddy'd myself. No. That's where oh he God. wants to be. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But no, he, yeah, no, the headgear fell away. I don't know. It doesn't matter. He's an old man now. Yeah. He doesn't talk in the same way. Uh, but uh, he says, no, yeah, I haven't seen him, but I think I might know where he might be. And he points a hand out towards uh, the center, sort of like tented area where there's like a bunch of like normally sales and booths and things for mm-hmm. like food and stuff uh, and the large pumpkin display. And you can see what looks like smoke filling the pumpkin itself but it is in fact hold on don't say it crows. Oh, I was gonna guess it's a, whole, it's it's a, a cloud it's a whole of crows lot of, I was it's gonna a guess bunch pigeons. of crows oh, and uh, you can see sort of that radiating uh, aura that black and burgundy kind of like blood red aura coming off of that area like rolling mist uh, you don't see a lot of motion in there but you can see a few shadows dipping within and out of the mist around there uh, but you Your guess is get, maybe that's where you should go. Do you think we're going to get sued by the uh, the crow estate? For the also, crow I would so? like to point out, uh, Clancy, you guys didn't see your mom and you've not received any more texts. Oh, text. yeah. She was under a table. We should probably yes. go actually sort that out, huh? Your mom's lovely. Yeah. Um. Here, uh, Here's what I think we should do. I think we should I would treat uh, much better than your husband, walk your out into the open. Do we see like people like running around <laughs> still or is it mostly there's a few people like out near the gates of the thing and like you can see like yeah. the the cherries and berries of the, the lights oh, of the police the picture yeah. she sent me did it look like she was outside or Thank inside <laughs> uh, she was she, yeah she was under a table she was like an, she, you an outside what... table because we're at like a festival no no like it a... was like a like a Hold covered on. table like, a at, like a booth of some kind investigate like she might have been in line for I'm something that because, or she yes, might i'm getting to that so what i would yeah. like to do is investigate a mystery but i'm gonna call her and see if her phone rings so that if that okay, helps yeah. me can I'll i maybe in get a plus regard- one for that idea i was just about to say sure <laughs> why not that's an eight so your help out would only give me to get me to a nine well that's good i rolled a six so that's fine so that's an eight yeah, I think on an eight you call her and uh You will call it- her <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> you will call her. Sorry, that really bro- that broke me. So yes. Oh my also god. Me of the, also please the have dinner with me. <laughs> have dinner with me. Oh my god. Oh, Dude, my god. oh my god. Just put uh, it in your mouth, princess. Yeah, no, you, you call and you don't. Uh, you don't. It doesn't like go straight to voicemail or anything. So her phone's not dead. But I think that's more concerning that she's not able to yeah. answer the phone. I wanted. Um, yeah, I would just but, wanted to see if like a ring like would help me find her. But yeah. I knew that that was definitely I think, a possibility. It did not work. I think you you have a solace in knowing that your mom was prepared with a, a decently charged phone. So it did ring fully and it didn't stop. You've called it a couple yeah. times, but and I can't hear. I it. would say. I would say on a mixed success, I can't give you more other than like that's a good idea that you have is like trying to okay. reach her in that potential way. All right, here's uh, the. I think here's what we should do. Uh, we should go to the place with the crow tornado and then call it then. And then if it's not there, it's more of a crow. It's more of a crow cloud. It's more of a crow cloud. What about and a, if we don't hear it there, then we just take care of business. What about, what about a crow, a crow collage? No, it's more of a more. It's more of a funnel, more of a funnel. Crow cro- cloud, cro- cronado. More of what a cronado. Come cro-nado. on. Cro-nado. Are, are you suggesting we go to the crow cloud? Call I and if she's not yeah. there. No, no, no I'm, I'm asking Jeremy. Yeah. yeah, and we call her, and if she's not there, then we just take care of business. Yes, but because like if she is there, that, that needs her. to take. Yes, because like if she is there, then that's a priority. But if she's not there, yeah. then we can solve this, and that should also. Decrow her? Uh, if she's D- DM. When I yes. look at One crow to the another. pieces, when I look at the pieces of the planchette, the puzzle that we're putting together, does it kind of look as if there's like probably one more piece? Or probably one more okay. piece. Oh, wow. there's probably <laughs> only like one more, re- I, really know, one. I if to... I would look at the two pieces <laughs> you know, it's, of it's like the three piece third. puzzle that I was holding. <laughs> I just wanted to it's make so sure. interesting that you asked about the puzzle now, right now, <laughs> and not earlier when you had it. I walk up to That's the like crows maybe. and call my mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so you guys make your way towards this area, and I think as you get closer, oh, uh, you're calling your mom. Uh, you you can hear a faint echo of her ringtone, and it's like what's it sound like? like? A like a it's like a midi church no, bell no, thing. No, no, like no. A, yeah, I was gonna say that doesn't work. I need you to. <laughs> I know exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so fucking yeah. annoying. It's the most it like the it's most your grandma's ringtone. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, and you can faintly hear that, but as you're hearing that, you don't quite see any like cell phone like quite yet. Okay. Uh, but I know you're that making your way closer. Direction. You hear this eerie sort of church thing, and this is for Tyler in the future editing. Put the put a find a midi shitty. You know what I'm talking. Uh, find I a midi you. shit and put that put it echoey in the distance as you're getting closer to this sort of foggy thing and those oh, faint like shadows you saw situation. from a far away you are now seeing are all you ladies pop the old pussy like this <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ it's literally so difficult to try to set things up man come on I'm sorry. hey welcome to my world Kyle <laughs> yeah but uh, as you as you're hearing this this faint echo of this church hymnal kind of like midi shit going on you are seeing what was making those shadows it is uh, festival goers in costume pieces but something is off about some of these people you see some of their limbs have that sort of scaly gross crow. Cl- crow-like bird foot flesh uh feathers jutting out of parts of costumes that don't seem to be a part of the costume mm. uh the clicking sound as you see beaks coming from parts of their body that there shouldn't be beaks uh some dragging bent l- wings and 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 limbs of bird-like sort of mutations as they are stalking through this sort of sh- beshadowed area uh it's quite the tableau as you hear that faint, almost ironic now, church music as you begin your search knowing that there is something else within here. You, they haven't noticed you uh, because of the thickness of this mist, but you have not broken through that area quite yet. I go invisible. You certainly do. Uh, so um, um, what yeah. you guys, and I listen what, to them. what do you think is like the best way to do this? Because like, obviously we don't want to like fight like a billion crows. I mean, we probably could, but like, I think that would take way too long. So like, what if, hear me out, we just uh-huh. run past all of them? Uh, 
what if I try to possess? What if I try to possess the the like main guy? And I'm like, crows, go away. Can that would work? Can somebody be double possessed? I don't know. I mean, this is all pretty up new until to me. today. I didn't think anyone could be possessed in the first place. But oh well, you've clearly never read your Bible, according oh. to yeah. I mean, oh. look at me, dude. I'm literally becoming a wizard. I wasn't a wizard in third period today. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like I didn't have a gross a whiz like kid, Frankenstein arm either. I I mean that was kind of like a dig at me because people just called me a nerd. I hate school just because I have the head head gear and shit doesn't mean i'm a automatic nerd who knows things i'm dumb it just sounded cool to be a wizard and we talked to a fucking pumpkin it man it's cool to be a wizard isn't it cool to be a w- see he gets it like you guys got cool powers I wish- and i can see some stuff happening with you guys yeah. but you guys haven't dipped your snoot like i have why are we worried about these crows just go go balls to the wall well i, I i'm mostly he, worried about like with me I think I'm mostly just worried about like the consequences of like us using these powers because like I don't want to die. I, I'll have you know, swear- I'm a teenager and I have not fully developed that kind of thought process yet, so I'm running in. Oh. Neither have I. That's why oh, I'm a fucking wizard, dude. Let's go! Okay, exactly. Oh, all we right. can fuck them up. You haven't even Let's seen go! what I can do. And Kevin kind of twirls the wand in his hand, and you see like a trail of like this like red magic starting to like. Uh, Almost like singe the tip of the wand like like a, like a burning wick. Dude, you'd be so great at a festival. You should do that. Right? Like, We're at oh a festival. God. I'm thinking long we term. No, I can just do no, like a, a fall festival. You know, like a... Dude. And he's like, you see Kevin kind of fall into himself for a moment when thinking about the fact that he's at a festival right now. He's like, I was literally thinking about this long term, but like if they mess up the festival, where am I going to perform as a cool wizard? I don't know. I mean... I don't know. I, I was kind of having this thought earlier, but but would it be weird like if like we just every year instead of doing this festival, we just started like doing like a crow con? Like we we all dress up like you so while they're, and, you, so while they're doing all this, and since crows. I'm invisible, I'm gonna go yeah, ahead yes. and do what I did earlier Dip and off. use both what could go wrong and don't worry, I'll check it out to oh, uh, okay. since I'm invisible to go through this wall of crows and just kind of see what we've got in front of us. Okay, I got you. Yeah, uh, yeah. You see, uh, as you break through the mist, uh, being invisible and whatnot, you see about twelve patrons. Like, because the booths aren't really covered by anything. There's like a tarp overhead hanging, but you yeah. can kind of look through the sort of stirrupy vibes and see what's all walking around. You can see about twelve of these sort of like crow, like half crow, sort of the fly mangled uh, costumed. Uh, festival goers and uh, it is at this point you can see sort of towards the farther back and nearing the actual like center tent uh, you can see a faint glow as you were I assume you're still calling the phone uh, yeah I probably still left that yeah yes yes I would yeah. have done that. you can see you can see a faint glow uh, sort of like flashing in and out of like what you could pre- presume to be a potential phone screen or something of the like, oh, yeah. uh, coming from a farther booth towards the back. Uh, what do you do from there? Um, since I'm these, invisible, the, these, I'm these thing. You, the invisible doesn't mean you're not solid, right? Like you're still tangible. Like well, touch, I can become stuff, intangible. Right? Okay, yeah, no, you that's said what I'm saying. I gain so the ability close. to become intangible. Mm-hmm. Invisible. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, then yeah. I want to go to where the phone is and see if I can see her. I know that if I want to be able to talk to her, I'd have to come back to regular mm-hmm. form. So I just want to go like over there and see if she looks safe at least first. Okay, well, safe yeah, relative a, to the situation. Yeah. <laughs> give me an act under pressure. Right. And I guess plus one since you're in tangible visible. That is a dirty 12. Ooh. All right, great. Yeah, no, you glide on through. Uh, you see some really fucked up imagery of people making like faux cawing noises as they're choking. I think I'm kind of doing the like, keep your eyes down, don't look at oh, it, God. don't look at it. <laughs> like their heads w- quickly snapping and like biting at hot dogs that have been dropped on the ground from people who are fleeing the scene. Oh man! Uh, uh, you see one of them standing in like the lemonade like fountain thing, like mm-hmm. doing a bird bath deal. Oh, like at God. the lemonade stand and like trying to clean their feathers, Jesus. but it's like they're sloughing off skin. It's really gross, and they're cleaning it with lemon. So you can only imagine. Uh, but you do make your way towards that booth, and you do see your mother's cracked phone and hear that MIDI stuff now clear as day. Uh, but you do not see your mom. Alrighty. 
you can see a shoe, uh, like one of her church heels yep. tossed mm-hmm. about underneath, but your mom is not present underneath the booth there. There does oh, not right. look like there is any blood or yeah. like sign of like a struggle beyond her maybe running or getting up quickly and forgetting the shoe or maybe even being helped up quickly. Yeah. Who knows? But so I she would, is not there. I would like to read a bad situation. Uh, okay, so two things. I want to kind of make start making my way back in the direction of where the other guys are um, okay. first. And along the way, I want to read a situa- read a bad situation um, okay. so that I can kind of relay to them what I've seen. Come on, get your noodle wet. Seven, eight. Um, I can spend one of my holds from what could go wrong. Yes, you still have one left. To make that a or 10. Uh, I should have two right now. Okay, yeah, because uh, you did a new 10. one, yes. So I can okay. hold three on a 10. Uh, what's my best way in? What's my best way out? Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? What's the biggest threat here? What's most vulnerable to me? And what's the best way to protect the victims? Um, wh- what's the biggest threat here? And I'm in my mind, I'm like, where, like, where does it appear to be like this is the, you know... Do you mean in the immediate area, where is the biggest threat? Or do you mean overall, where is the biggest threat? In the area I'm at. Tyler, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the biggest threat in the area that you're in currently is all the terrifying crow monster people. That's fair. That is the immediate threat. Um, I will say your mom didn't wear any elaborate costume or anything. You don't recognize her clothes. I will give you that. Your mom is not amongst these 12 crow entities you've seen. You see maybe like a couple chefs and shop owners, a few people who were like there straggling behind to buy something and people who clearly like hopped off a ride and are mangled from like just tearing their becrowed bodies from like the teacup ride with the dumb thing still down. And so maybe they're dragging themselves along the ground yeah. or something like, um, are like they, it seems like this came on these people all of a sudden by breathing in this yes. mist. So uh, are, are there any dangers we haven't noticed yet? Or I haven't noticed yet. I guess I kind of gave that yeah. away just now. The mist yeah. being in that mist too long um, might not be good for you. Is my what last you. question. What's my best way in? And I kind of figure like what's our best way in is kind of what I'm trying to take in here. Um, you could go straight through. There's going to be the obviously the need of stealth, but there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of guard at the big tent beyond like the mist being a bit thicker in that area. Yeah. And like there's more crows, but there's not like two armed guards standing outside stopping you from going in and seeing what's going on within okay. that tent beyond like yeah. trepidation on your own part. And again, and, crow and there's, yeah, I was about to say, there's clearly no way to get to that tent without getting past all of these crows, right? Yeah, cool. Um, I'm gonna. I will say. Oh, go ahead. You don't know what the effect has happened. Like you haven't had an instant effect from being in this mist, uh, as well. Like you. Like I think I'm kind of like assuming instant. since I'm intangible and invisible that it might not be doing anything to me. I will say that is not the reason why. I, that's fine if it's. I'll not. give you that. That's fine if it's I'll not. Give you that. In my brain, reason. I'm kind of assuming. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's because we're already possessed. And you can't. Did be I answer possessed. all your questions? Yes, you did. Um, I'm okay. gonna hop back out of the uh, mist and back to my peeps. And so, I'm why gonna... can't we just rush Jen? All right, so here's the deal. And then I oh, shit. reiterate everything. <laughs> yeah, I become tangible and all. And I, all right, here's the deal. And I repeat everything you just said. Hopefully, you were listening. Oh, fuck. Uh, so exposition mi- time. Mist is bad. Clarence gives you exposition time. Exposition. He hasn't noticed that his two feet are missing, and he's got one of those squiggly ghost tails. Permanently right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Permanently right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a nasty cast with butt. I think so, Clarence is becoming a holy ghost, which I think vibes. The holy ghost. That's almost kind of like his destiny. True. If you sort Damn. of believe in that kind of thing. Damn. We've got one with a nasty Hellraiser ass Frankenstein arm. Mm -hmm. We've got one with nasty fucking fake slash hyper realistic yucky wolf hands and like a yucky wolf eye. And then we've got an old man. (laughs) Isn't this exciting? A full man. So so what are we doing? I I feel like Uh, we probably need to get in and out pretty quick. I want to run in a straight line until I see uh, the crow man and hit him in the head with the wrench. 
I feel like it's wrong. So to are we call just gonna like run past all the groups? What is or? the what, what what I was yes. about to say? What is the equivalent of a stealth check for the group since he's deciding? I to think do act this? under pressure. Well, wait, are you yeah, are me, you telling Kyle no, no, that you're no, doing I'm, this? Or are you telling the group no, that's no, what you want to do? I, I yeah, oh, we were yeah. planning. I was gonna run in with Rinch reckless drawn. abandon. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> Are you suggesting there's a better op- a plan? I, I what know. if we Not just like try to uh, sneak? I mean, we could also like get a bunch of like crow stuff and just like glue it to yeah, our there's bodies feathers and around. just like I can, I can try to crows and stuff. The crows. Go for it, man. Give me a weird. Give me like. Well, we're, give me we're a, talking. We're, we're just we're talking, talking right now. <laughs> we're just talking. We're <laughs> no, I know, but I just want you to do. You could just do yeah. it just to see if you can. Oh, you've been you've been talking you know about what? possessing yeah, all these I, things. I want to possess something. I'm gonna possess a crow. If that works, then we have an easy way in. I just dropped my okay. dice. Okay. Oh, well, boy. I'm I'm gonna start like putting crow stuff all over me. Like I want to like try to make myself look like one of these like. Well, here's my uh, weird weird crow people. Here we go. Did I did I use all my hold, or did I still? No, have you one? had. I think you have one. <laughs> okay, I think you good. Have I one. can make that a mixed success. <laughs> uh, it was a six, so I make that an eight. Oh, so, yeah. I think you see Milo kind of like do like the rearing back like a Looney Tunes kind of character, like they're getting ready to run, and he like sh- like zips into like a little ball of like ectoplasm and hits this crow, and it like oh, spasms crazy. for a moment, and it like sits up, and then. <laughs> it pops and Milo just kind of stumbles out. Clancy? Clancy? I mean, yeah, Clancy. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I was like, Garrett. uh. So you've murdered a crow. Shut up. <laughs> carrot. <laughs> carrot, I said. You know I said what? carrot. You know what? I'm just going to try to do that to the other ones. I'm going to go to the next one and try to possess that one. Either it's going to explode or I'm going to possess it, it or maybe, something or else is going to happen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You never know. <laughs> I'm going to try it on the next one. Let's see where this is going. Tell me what happens. You ain't got no <laughs> hole, but you got nope. it. That's a uh, five. <laughs> oh, nice. God. Mark some experience. Hey, yeah, I, think experience. I marked experience. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Hold on. Oh, God. I think you do it again and it lasts a little longer, but he does explode. But when you come back. You're a little bit more see-through from the waist down. A little bit more. Oh, all right. All right. Like shit. it's like eating upwards. Like you, you, your legs are gone. No more legs. You're just hovering about. Oh man! I but think, it's still it's Clancy on the top. I, I think what here here's what I think Clancy is thinking. I I I noticed this, and it's a little alarming. Clancy in his brain is assuming that what the spooky pumpkin demon told him is true. And that he said he's gonna take these powers back when we're done. So I'm just going to keep rolling with, this is Ugh. fine. It's going to work out. And I'm going to go on to the next one. As oh, soon as man. Clancy goes oh, to, boy. as soon as Cla- Clancy goes to go to the next one, I was like, this is more reckless than what I was doing. And I'm going to leave Ray Jenkins into the crow thing, shouting oh, at the God. top of my lungs. <laughs> All right. While yeah. he does that, oh, I'm, still gonna, I'm still going to, I'm still going to try to possess oh, the next gosh. one while he's oh, doing that. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, you give that was me. Even worse. Oh, oh God. boy, yeah. I think I think it doesn't even happen this time. I think you just like you, your body just kind of shudders and goes cold, and you like flicker in and out for a second of that tangibility. Oh All right. man, like you're not more eaten away. I wouldn't say, but like you can clearly tell your powers are being like, whoa, too much in okay, quick success. Fair, fair. Fair. Let's like so let's 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 just hold, a, let's pump the brakes. Just to but make also it clear. when you shout like that, Dang. you involuntarily howl. I'm gonna go ahead and give you that because. Oh. You, your hands haven't transformed back. He hasn't transformed back. Y'all are all kind of starting to notice. This is, yeah. Y'all are y'all are kind of still a little freakish, like a bit, yeah. a bit of ghoulish. Genuinely, I my what Billy is trying to do right now is to draw all the crows to him, and that's what so I'm trying to say. Others- what would be a good role for him to like? bring he's he's trying to bring attention away from yeah. you guys mm. yeah um it could be uh, help out act under pressure i, I mean both probably, those are i could cool. see manipulate someone maybe wanna, manipulate someone oh uh, i could see manipulate someone sure and I, and to to make it a little fair i'm gonna do a quick roll here and this will be what you're trying to beat that i have oh it's great for you isn't it all right it, and it. go ahead and your it. number in it what you got what you got what well, you got what you i got? rolled an eight and well, with my charm that's an eight <laughs> Jeremy, I want you to know it was a seven. <laughs> oh God! I want you to know I rolled a seven oh, and it made me shit. giggle because that's all you kept rolling was a seven. I was like, if he can roll a yep. seven, I'll <laughs> one give it better. To 
you got one better. That's so great. So yeah, I think you start howling and that's when you notice that the clouds have parted. That full moon's oh, shining oh. down on you. Oh. Do you it's give like in to the urge? Yes. Hell, well, hell fucking yes. I'm so right Billy, I'm so glad you did. I think you howl and instinctively you grab at your collarbones and tear your own skin away like a shirt. Oh, Gross. God. Like Spongebob ripping himself in yeah. half. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, Lit- quite literally, Tyler. You got it on the money. And it tears I away kind of like leaving. I feel like running. And I and yes, you run. do. You have this urge. Your heart is racing. Adrenaline is pumping through you like lit gasoline. Oh, yeah. To be as clear, like, not like in a now, runaway thing. Like in a just yeah, as bits. now exposed in front of you, you guys see Billy, except for his head, which he kind of tears off like a mask. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> F- corded flesh, like almost like plastic, like costumey vibes. Like think of like mm-hmm. if a mangy dog costume was like real life, like oh my very God. much like patched fur, corded crazy muscle, and like a snarling, mangled, like multi tooth, like maw, bright yellow and red eyes. As Billy fully gives into his werewolf side mm-hmm. and Holy is howling fuck. and snapping as he goes running through, and you see those crows all kind of snap like. They're as, like as if they're on like poles or marionette kind of strings. They snap to his direction and begin to shuffle after him as he begins to clear a path. Yeah, I don't uh, think I'll ever be able to sleep again. <laughs> Billy, on all your kick some ass rolls, you've got plus two right now. Oh, yeah. shit. Let's go. Uh, so I guess Billy's gonna get them yeah, away. Billy's so let's go. Full, Billy's gone full feral. So I think. Yeah. It's up to yeah. You let, let's, let's get going. We, we got to fix. Yeah. This, he's like, dragging. Quick. You see sparks as he's dragging the wrench with one of his hands oh my and the God. other is like pulling him forward as. He's oh, like, wait, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. It's in my mouth. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Oh, like oh, yes. With it in my mouth. yes. <laughs> Very good. Cool. Guys, uh, I think go. I see this and I give up what I was doing and killing the killing the cloud one crow at a time yeah (laughs) to be fair that paired with clearly my power is not like exhausting me that's fair so uh yeah while he's distracting him what are you what are you guys planning so so we're we're gonna like representation of what i think billy looks like oh okay (laughs) uh i think we're gonna try to like move forward i think right yeah yeah no you guys you guys can go through unabated i think you uh uh I don't know. Billy, give me like two kick some ass rolls. Let's see what happens here. Uh, that's going to be nine. And then... Ooh. Okay, yeah, that's a success. Eleven. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think as he goes tearing through, you see like uh, like clouds of feathers as he takes out four of these crow guys, no problem, and like a blur of like just claws yeah. and fucking mm-hmm. snarling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's- and you guys make your way uh, towards the uh, let's see towards the entrance of the thing. That's a mix. I think one sort of peels off towards your direction. I'll, but, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, did you roll that second uh, roll? Oh, yeah, you did roll the 11. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'll, I, think, I'll, uh, I think he sort of peels towards your direction. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'll, 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 I'll like, if if he's going to, like, intercept us, I'll just, like, as we're running towards our destination, I'll, like, lean back and, like, not even stop running, just punch the crow straight in the face and, like, use the Hell momentum yeah. to, like, go through. So I'm going to do a kick some ass. Yeah, ain't none of these crows got fire. Nine plus three, 12. Hell yeah, 12, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think no problem. Like, you almost, like, stop as this thing is, like, Mm -hmm. running towards you and its Mm -hmm. momentum can't stop it from toppling Mm -hmm. into your own fist as it's, like, meeting it halfway. Yeah, Uh, Just get one one of those those slow-mo of, of, like, the punch hitting the beak and it's just, like... Yes, absolutely. (laughs) Yes, and the head just bursts into feathers as the body continues forward, falling slumped (laughs) in front of you. Yeah. but you guys make your way towards the entrance of that uh, larger tent. And as you kind of get there, that mist is very, it, it's super thick in this area. Like you could kind of see it lingering almost like a, like a, a sheen of like smoke. Uh, but here it's like, it's like you can kind of almost see about five feet at most in front of you when you get into the thick of it. Uh, 
but that's when Kevin kind of uh, takes he takes his wand and kind of swirls it overhead, uh, and the color at the tip of the wand changes to this sort of dull white, uh, and a orb kind of uh, manifests itself around you guys, and some of that mist falls away, leaving clear air uh, as he creates a shell around you. As you see the entrance sort of like flapping in the wind, as that mist seems to be generated from somewhere within the tent and is blowing its way out of the the flaps of it. Uh, and Kevin's, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm going to have to focus on this so we don't keep breathing that. And I don't think it's, I think that's, I don't you're, think it's crazy to great. assume you're that. You're doing great, Kevin. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. I'm just, that was crazy back there. Did you see that? He, he tore his skin off. He turned into a fucking wolf. Yeah. I'm trying not to think about it too much. Yeah. That was kind of crazy. Yeah. I don't think there's nothing in the Bible about this, so I'm not super sure how to interpret this. <laughs> But like, I don't think I think uh, and I don't mean tonight. anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. that's putting it lightly. Uh, I don't think the Bible is going to. I don't know. Are you are you like on fire touching it? Like, do you feel evil doing what me? You, do you know what I mean? Yeah. No. Because are you? No, no, no I'm Ghost. chill. I'm the whole crazy. Ghost. And he takes Ooh. one of your little pocket Bibles and he's touching it. I mean, I, I don't feel evil. I'm not like burning. I, I, I think I we're touch, good. Uh, I touched Billy with it. Wait, I think uh, Billy's not around. I think oh, yeah, you yeah, just you're right. my goal was running around to because this whole place is filled with a bunch of crow monsters, right? True. Mm, it's just twelve of them, yeah. But oh, it was like, just twelve. To, okay, well, I'm yeah. You took out four of the twelve. I am running around, taking them out and like dealing with that. So you just tell me when That's that true. gets resolved. So five. And then I'll join back. Almost half of them are gone at this point yeah. because yeah. Uh, Milo also punched one to death, yeah. and I exploded too. <laughs> Oh yeah, you no, you exploded just two crow crows. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I, I, were you, I'm so sorry. Were you trying to possess the big I crow was, monsters but it's earlier? Okay. <laughs> no, no, that was not the case. Sorry. That that makes sense. I was like, oh, that was easy. I'll just do all of them. Mm -mm. No, oh, that's God. why that I was like so sense. curious as to why you kept wanting to. Okay, that's that makes why, sense. I think, I think me and Kyle both imagined you jumping into individual crows and yes, that's maybe I'm Billy like. did that, or uh, maybe Clancy did that, thinking that that would be a good idea. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, do you guys enter the tent? Are you, yeah, uh, yeah. you going to wait? Kinda, to try to, I kind of want to sneak in. Wait, did y'all? Like, oh, yep. Yeah. So did, uh, no, I'm just curious. Did y'all want to try to wait or like pick off? The things with Billy, like oh, is, I, Billy I assume. Out so here. I, so I think I want you guys to go in. Billy yeah, okay, yeah. That's, that's what I assume. I, sure. will, I, assume I will he say, was like, Kyle, I went ahead and rolled my other two rolls, and okay, good. One was a nine plus four, and the other was eleven plus four. So you just Holy tell me how long. I until think, I'm yeah, back. no, but I no, think they I'll have ahead. time to do stuff. Yeah, they 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 can enter in the tent, and I think as yeah. you guys enter in, uh, it's not like an immediate wall of that stuff, mm -hmm. but it's like these flowing sort of sheets of like if you've ever been to like a club when there's like a phone yep. party mm -hmm. thing. Oh, going, I was thinking like the like, Mister at like yeah, the mist either thing way. at like the zoo. Mm -hmm. Where it's like got a rolling sort of like cloud effect of like this mm -hmm. stuff coming down, but uh, you can see at the center, uh, kind of. Uh, you can see at the center of this uh, tent. <laughs> it's the DJ. No. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I'm so glad you could make it. <laughs> Shout out to all the crows. <laughs> but no, at the center of this uh, oh. tent is not the typical fare that you would find at like uh like gift shoppy kind of like pick up stuff uh, mm -hmm. there is um several uh patrons kind of with crows perched amongst their arms that are out linked hand in hand around a sort of source that seems to be centered at uh uh a cauldron used for normally food and like delving out food but literally is pouring out this smoke and like a towering sort of like funnel of these crows shooting up into the pumpkin with these like swirling uh lights and sort of like currents that kind of like catch uh like sparks of like electricity but like almost like a magic sort of like i can't describe it in any other way something supernatural is happening yeah. as they sort of hit these points that seem to be invisible runes in the air and light up uh, spelling out something in a tongue you've never spoke uh and at the center of this uh, thing, as these people are all chanting with these crows perched upon them, uh, you see Kent uh, now not donning his uh, disguise that he was using, but now fully in his sort of crowed body, but Kent head uh, standing above this sort of scene, like just out of reach of the blast, absorbing wisps of this 
sparking electricity and energy into himself as these crows begin to uh, coalesce and fill that balloon-like structure above him. Uh, and as you enter the room, I don't even think there's like a, a hiding thing. He just shifts his gaze for a moment at you and smiles as he points one hand out and two people break away from the... Uh, chant and their bodies begin to rapidly shift their arms expanding as feathers and these amalgamations sort of like nasty crow-like limbs made of thousands of crows or hundreds of crows you can't quite tell uh kyle can one... i ask a question yes would you say that they can't hide because this is his crow mane like the lettuce <laughs> <laughs> Both a of you of are fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crow! You can't fire me because I quit. Oh, crow! <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, these sort of crow, um, these manifested crow mm -hmm. behemoths uh, charge towards the two of you. Okay, uh, I'll, uh, three of you, rather. I'll jump in front of Clancy and Kevin and just kind of like provide a wall between them. Um, and okay. uh, yeah. No, I got you. Damn. Okay, so that is a 10 and a 7, so a mix and an actual success. So you take three harm as okay. one of them crashes into you, kind of knocking you away from the other one's hit, and it oh. glances. So uh, if three. I wanted to help him, could I potentially reduce that harm? Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you can tell me a way well, that is convincing enough to... So learn. I'm going to use uh, I'm sorry. one of my moves, <laughs> the power of heart. When fighting Hell a monster, yeah. what does that mean? if you help someone, don't roll plus cool. You automatically help as though you rolled a 10. Um, oh. So I want to like see Milo attempt to get in the way and rescue me. And I'm going to try to like grab him and like help like tackle him out of the way. So okay, we're yeah. both like trying to avoid it. No, gotcha. I got you. Go for it. Give me. Um... I don't roll. I, I automatically get a oh, 10. Oh, you don't have to roll. Oh, then hell yeah. Oh, like, sweet. Yeah, I think I think you can minus that to down to instead of three, uh, oh. knock it down to one damage. Cool. As, uh, he kind of helps you glance that off and you uh, do I get you almost a bolster counter? his. Do I get a counter kick some ass? Sure. Okay. Yeah, go for it. I didn't, yeah. is, is that how that works? If like I'm not I, sure how combat okay. works in this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's It's a little confusing. Yeah. I don't really know how turn orders work. Oh my god, I'm really rolling so good. Uh, I rolled a natural 11 plus 3. So are you 14. doing anything funky or weird? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm going to, like... So I... I'm going to use their momentum, like, to my advantage. Hell and yeah, I'm going to, like... Shit, like I'm going to straight up, like, lariat one of the fucking uh, crows with my, like, big, bulky, like, gross arm. Um, oh, yeah. and just like straight up, just like, like Larry at him into the ground as like, I get okay. tackled. So like, <laughs> I think as he tackles him, you, you're like kind of shifting on your weight of your mm -hmm. heel. Milo kind of catches you, not mm -hmm. quite possessing you, but possessing that, mm -hmm. the, the big monster arm, yeah. like maybe some of the poles that are like coming out of it. And this sort of streak of force as you kind of bring it back around into like a mm -hmm. haymaker clothesline kind of combo mm -hmm. deal, bringing him down to the ground and those pistons all shift as you force him to the ground. Oh inward, my God. And yes. push him into the ground. Kind yes. Of a small Let's crater. Let's go. As you slam one of the behemoths into that the ground. Sick. It kind of knocks the other one backwards. Not quite off balance, but yeah. like it is stopped as a uh, um, uh you see kent kind of shift his gaze not quite upset but yeah. like a furrowed brow of recognition that this is going to need more than just yeah. the two of them mm -hmm. and so he kind of holds his hands out stretch still absorbing this magic for a moment and you see that sparking kind of like arcane energy as he brings his hands together in a clasping formation kind of clap and those two behemoths shift into like a massive like sort of pile of this like shifting crow debris and they fuse together into this giant pillar almost like a slime made of crows oh my God. as it <laughs> uh, sort of stands up now a giant rippling wave towering over even your new sort of hulking Frankenstein-esque form. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Jesus And I'll Christ. say it's Milo's turn on that one. And okay. at this point, I think in that Who commotion, Billy, Milo? you would have... I'm sorry. Yeah. Me. Is it... No, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, I thought you uh, I am Milo. No, no I, oh, I, I was no, yeah. countering. I, You're right. No, I, Milo did just go. Well, I was countering Clancy. their, like, stuff, yeah. Okay, yeah. sorry. Yes. I yeah. thought you were accidentally so calling Clancy's Clancy turn, Milo again. And oh, okay. Billy's just finishing. But Billy is now... So Billy is my... Billy has now entered the encounter. Billy is Milo. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's like if you've Clancy's ever played Baldur's Garrett. Gate and like one of your guys gets stuck way on like a log after you jump. Ugh, oh so my you god, the so worst. Getting them to jump is so. Oh, it, oh, they could at least tell you crazy. it happened. Yes, god. or make like, like a ping worst. noise. Yeah. I miss games back in the day that used to bother the shit out of you with like a noise or a it, notification. I yeah. wouldn't. I would not mind if it just like made a noise because they. Shadowheart is missing. It Shadowheart. It's always Shadowheart. She can't jump for shit. Just make it make a ding when your party changes. Just make it make a ding when your party changes. Yeah. I and think, Billy enters the scene. I think Clancy notices. I, I think Clancy's kind of taking in what's happening. He sees Milo doing some damage, and he sees Kent react and summon a new pillar of crows. And I think he kind of, I think he kind of recognizes that nothing's going to get done if we don't stop Kent. Like he's just going to keep sending more <laughs> shit at him. Tyler, us. Tyler, is Clancy? Tyler, is Clancy going ghost? I think g he's going to have going to. Ghost. But here's what I'm going to say. <laughs> I think since Billy just entered the arena. Um, I, so go ahead. I if you like this, literally my plan with Billy was to immediately wolf leap on and while like biting at this giant thing, be like, you guys focus on yep. uh Clint? Can't. No? Can't. Can't. There's too many K sounds. I'm going Can't to and so Kevin. what I'm gonna do is and I'm gonna see Billy come yeah. into the arena mm -hmm. and I'm going to and kind of shout uh, to Kent. I cough up or, a uh, sorry. skeleton. I'm going to shout to Billy. <laughs> uh, I guess to Billy and uh, Milo. I'm going to shout, keep them busy and I'm going to go invisible. Hell yeah. Let's and go. I'm going to start making my way towards Kent. I would imagine I, it's going to take a a couple turns. Feel free to get silly with it, boys. I'm just giving y'all mm -hmm. carte blanche. Do some spooky dookie dumb Let's shit. Let's go. Just go go ham right now. You're in the you're in the belly of the beast. I've got I'm an idea, you know but now. I assume you're not gonna let me get to Kent right now. <laughs> yeah. No, go for it. So, yeah, do whatever you got. Yeah. No, so there's definitely let, a let giant right now. Uh, I'm making my way to him. Yes. Yeah. Between many... Kent and you all is a giant crow blob, is all yeah. I'll say. I'm right. invisible oh, okay. and intangible right now. How many uh like crow people are there in the room? At the altar, sort of like cauldron area with Kent, there are still four. Uh, right now in front of you is two that have been formed into one giant being. Okay. Uh, so, so six in total. I'm going to... Plus Kent, so seven. I'm going to kind of see lost. the situation and like the anxiety of like this coming to a head is like really yeah. setting in. And yeah. I think uh, I think Milo's nervous energy is going to kind of like start like he's going to start like breathing heavily and start mm -hmm. kind of like uh kind of like like bulking up a little bit and he's gonna give in like completely okay fuck yeah dude so he's mono, gonna, mono, mono, so, mono the giant yes so yes. he's going I think to as completely this is happening, you're having this sort of like hyperventilating moment yeah. like as every exhale more of these sort of like black iron spikes are like forcing their way mm -hmm. out of your shoulders and it's like disproportionate but still corded strong mm -hmm. in increasing muscle mm -hmm. maybe like one of your arms is slightly bigger with more of these sort of jagged spikes coming out of it mm -hmm. and the other is more dexterous but like your nails have been replaced with like these twisted metal sort of like nail like mm -hmm. literal nails coming oh out of God. them and stuff and it's stitched sort of pattern work as your body is working to contain mm -hmm. all that muscle underneath your normal ass skin mm -hmm. uh as you give in to the monster so and, uh, i'm, I'm picturing out. i'm picturing like this big like round circular tent right mm -hmm. um where like there's just kind of like people all over like crow yes people all yes over. big like think so, big top circus ass tent. yeah yeah so like as he's like kind of huffing and puffing and like he's gonna blow the house no i'm just kidding hell no, yeah that's brother me. Like, that's, oh, that's, that's my whole thing he's got a trademark on that not you cool. can't so, do that so that's not he's gonna cool. start he's gonna I'll start pull a torch out <laughs> Milo's gonna start in a like light jog and eventually like try to like pick up on speed some fucking juggernaut shit. Hell yes, straight up juggernaut. He wants to just like ram through like all, like I'm literally just go bitch. around in a circle in the <laughs> fucking tent and just bash into anything that looks like a crow. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Yes, go ahead and give me a kick some ass, baby, okay. and I will get I will grant you the same strength bonus that I did to Billy with the plus two. Plus yeah. two, okay. Um, damn, I'm rolling so good. That's another 11 plus three plus two. So Jesus Christ. So what's that? Yeah. 16? I think. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I think as you're running, like you're not noticing this, but like there's these sparks, not not too dissimilar to the arcane sparks coming off yeah. of uh, Kent, but these sparks of like this sort of like vague, like bright green electricity is starting to build up as you're building up speed and speed, and mm-hmm. you're kind of like almost becoming a like becoming the this just like. Yeah, essentially, yeah. whatever. But like yeah. a bolt of like just sheer force as you like mm-hmm. are clouded in this sort of electricity that's kind of pinging off of these metal rods coming out of your body, and you collide with this uh, uh, sort of mass of crows. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much damage did you do on that? Um, so it, it's really kind of up to you. Uh, so my base uh, is two, but I also have like the little like brass knuckles. I would imagine that the brass knuckles like trans. So that would be the into plus the, one, and then yeah, no, so three, uh, uh, yeah. three, and I, I don't know what else I have as far as like damage. Stuff, and then but, I'm yeah. just saying plus two across the board with your strength as well. Oh, okay, so yeah. Like, so it's three plus two, so that's five damage yeah. total. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, and just that one go of you letting, uh, giving in, you kind of do a, you mm-hmm. do a decent portion of damage to this thing, and you see like m- most of it starting to kind of like having to focus on keeping its composure in a way as these like crows begin to like spill off like blood as this thing is struggling to keep itself together. Mm-hmm. Uh, Billy, you've entered oh, the room. Actually, now. sorry. Um, d- oh. d- uh, I also have a part of my natural attack, so I have a uh, base two but i also ignore armor any sort of armor as it doesn't a base. have armor it's well a bunch like of any it's sort a bunch of like <laughs> defensive <laughs> like mechanisms any it's sort of like defensive mechanism i ignore that it ignores like crows had, yeah yeah it ignores oh, crows. okay yeah, yeah that's all you yes. have to say is it ignores crows. <laughs> it ignores crows yeah it's weird that um, they put no, but... that in the monster of the week <laughs> so if if Very you run into specific. crows there's an entire is it too page late to change my favorite prey to crow i think <laughs> no, it is most i think the too. hunter oh. class that matt picked was scarecrow so <laughs> yeah ah, yeah makes a lot of sense mm-hmm. you're gonna take some hay damage though if you ever get near any oh, fire God. true Damn. All right, it's double damage because he's also but yeah, Billy. You <laughs> enter in and you see this. Uh, you see just this bright green flash as you enter the room. As you see Milo Animorph style slowly turning into this <laughs> yes. sort of like behemoth, like not wounded, but like this thing that's being patchwork held together by like bolts and screws and fucking stitching. Uh, crash into what you could only describe as like a giant beanbag chair made of crows. <laughs> uh, Let's go. With- him taking the giant, which is totally appropriate. Uh, mm-hmm. The predator is going to predator, and he is going to leap and bite th- at the heads of the remaining, like, praying altar people. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah? Because they're doing weird prayer stuff. No, for sure. Uh, 11. Okay, hold on to that 11 and give me a read a bad situation. Uh, three minus one, or sorry, <laughs> six minus one, five. So I'm going to gain some experience. So that's cool. And I'm going to level up. So that's cool. Um, Let's go. I, you said three minus, geez, I literally can't give you anything. Okay. Yeah, no, I think you're just blinded by the rage. Yeah. <laughs> by that, the rage that you're giving into the, it yeah. really does track. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be biting some prayer people. And just yeah. You said 11. Around. Give uh, this. Oh. I'll say you'll have to target these one by one. Okay. Uh, give me, give me damage on that. Kick some ass with 11. Well, tell uh, me how much you deal with, if, with your, it's getting, you also get the plus two from your strength and whatever pluses you have from your weapons. Your plus okay, one so add from that. the crow if, people. If it, if it's the equivalent of me using my uh, my uh, wrench, then that's going to be three plus two. So that's another five? Uh, yes. Yeah, so that's five damage to one of them as I just, like, bite them with my maw. Yeah, no, my I think, maw. I think with that five, you, uh, you, you don't kill them instantly, but you, uh, you don't see, like, a flickering. But, like, Kent did not like that. And you can see sort of like a, a faltering amongst them as they start to get panicked, noticing the commotion kind of going on. But they're still sort of holding hands. And uh, one of the uh, hooded figures just holds a hand out while still clasping the others and uh, is going to send a torrent of crows your direction to try to blow you back away from what they're doing. And that's 10. Ooh. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead well, and get that wait, beautiful bean footage. Hold on. What do you got? What do you got for me? I picked just now when I leveled up. Because I thought it made sense, I picked up the berserk trait. 
Uh, no matter how much harm you take, you can always keep going until the current fight is over. During a fight, the keeper may not use harm moves on you, and you cannot die. When the fight Damn. ends, all harm takes effect as normal. Shit. I think that stops you from doing special stuff with damaging attacks. I may, I might be so wrong, like, or if you just want to blast me back. But either way, I so can't like go you down. can kill him, but he won't die until the fight's over. Yeah, no, that's what I'm, yes, yes no. I won't die till later. I, I think that's very My werewolf of you. I thought so too. Yeah, no, I think it does slide you back, but not yes. enough, right? Like you're yeah. moved back in that, like you're within their arm's reach, but not enough to stop. Yeah. To try to stop what you were doing. Uh, yeah. The other two continue to chant as this one is now focusing you, uh, as you literally block like a torrent mm -hmm. of these crows. I am howling every claws. chance. Every time. Maybe you're even happens. snapping at a few of the crows oh, yeah. with your fucking teeth like a dog, you know, mm -hmm. trying to eat the hose. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, you uh, you take you take one of them down as their knee, but now they are focused on you fighting, and we are going to cut to you, Milo. Uh, you see Billy fighting them. You, oh yeah, Clancy. You see Milo is why I was gonna say. You see Milo fighting uh, the giant crow blob, and you see Billy now crow entering blob. the fray, fighting a couple of the uh, people chanting around the thing. Because I don't want to just inherently call them cultists. They're not cultists. Yeah, they're, they're crotists. They got caught. They're in a. They made. <laughs> they're, they're they're in a bad way. I'm not doing it. I knew it. <laughs> Whatever. Anyhow, I love it. So um, here's the thing. Clancy might be very wrong about this being a good idea, but <laughs> Clancy remembers earlier watching Billy piercing his hand through Danny Buttons and Danny Buttons. grabbing the the mm -hmm. uh, planchet piece. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do, Danny Phantom, and you can tell me if this if I can't do this, but you encourage silliness. Yeah, no, I would shit. like to whilst invisible and intangible sneak up. Uh, on, uh, on Kent, I want to sneak yes. up on Kent Butterby. S uh, slip my hand through his body while it's intangible, <laughs> and become tangible while my hand's in there and grab the planchette. Oh my god! All right, yeah. Uh, I don't know what that'll do to my hand. I, that no, might be no, a bad idea. Give me, <laughs> no, no. Give me, give me an act under pressure for that. Give me an act under pressure for that. I'll say he's distracted fairly enough while he's. His plans are getting. Oh, that's a ten Ooh. plus one Ooh. eleven. That's a six oh, and a four. Shit. I thought it was a bad roll. Nope, six and a four. Let's go. That is a full wow. success. I plan. Yeah, wow. no, I don't. I don't know Give what that second. does for yeah. you. No, that's great. I'm sorry if I put you in a tough position. No, no, no. But this is so good. This is so good. I think a couple things happen. Oh, I think shit. you grab the you 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 reach forward in this moment like terrified like and and time seems to slow down as you do this and you become solid and grasp where you believe the planchette to be and you do take hold of it you 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 can't tell for certain but you feel the the hard cold metal and you have it is it a crow beak no 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 it is the planchette piece. And That'd be as so funny if the back, puzzle was two puzzle pieces of a three piece puzzle and then a, a, a like a a, pe a beak that's not related at all. <laughs> as you pull your hand back, as you pull your hand back with this piece, uh, Kent just turns and looks at you with the most shock in his eyes, and then there is a flash of uh, blinding white light as you see Kent go one way, and this energy coalesce remaining near where you your hand was holding that planchette uh ken's body falls unconscious and a football hits him as he hits the ground <laughs> <laughs> i love it and the energy coalesces before you as um malthus the crow demon is now standing before you now sort of drenched in this like ever flowing like red mist this red and black mist that's been kind of hanging around uh not the form you saw before where he was this meager crow man but sort of something in between almost like a middle sort of metamorphosis like you may have caught him as he was trying to do something uh but the rest of the mist around begins to dissipate other than what is pouring from his body the crows that were funneling into the pumpkin cease and the ones that are in there just writhe crazed in their seeking escape or to move it who knows uh and before you now stands uh a a, a a sort of pseudo transformed malthus as he holds his hand out knocking you back 
away from him. Uh, oh, you still have the planchette piece in your hand. I assume that deals me a piece. harm. Yes, that is going to actually do you. Let's find out. Two harm. Two harm. Ooh. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, the cultists sort of fall collapsed as the ritual was abruptly stopped. Uh, the one f- remaining fighting you, Billy, is holding on but has not fallen unconscious. Uh, but there is also an unconscious Kent. Um, what do you do? Uh, it's back to the top of the round with you fighting the uh, massive crows, uh, Milo. But the massive crows is actually going to go before you as it shifts and moves upwards and begins to swirl and coalesce underneath uh, Malthus him, him, the, themselves mm-hmm. uh, as sort of like a crow tornado. Crow tornado! Yeah. Keeping his sort of like semi-transformed mm-hmm. physical form aloft. Uh, though he is mid-transformation, he still is in, giving off an intense aura of mm-hmm. great power. Uh, what do you do in this moment? I think uh, Milo just has the the rage uh, blinders on. He doesn't really understand what the fuck is going on outside of just kill crows. And he's literally just going to like continue. Like he sees that the thing he was fighting goes like kind of flees. So Milo's going to chase after it and basically okay, yeah. just like. Just same thing, just tackle into whatever looks Hell yeah, crow. that same green yeah. energy begins to spark yeah. up on you as you begin to rush towards the yes. uh, proto Malthus is what I'll be calling him from now on. proto Malthus. Uh, wow. Um, and then go I Go ahead and give me a something. kick some ass, I guess. Um, I, I guess. Go ahead and kick some ass, I guess. Yes. If you wanna. If, you, if you'd like. Smoke him if you got him. Kick him if you've... Kick him... Kick him uh, in the dick him. Nine plus three, uh, twelve. So yeah, give me, give me the. What's the damage? Wait, five, right? is that nine Four, plus uh, three? Five. Yeah. Are you forgetting to add your plus two that he gave? Oh yes, yeah, sorry. The then yes, yeah, that's yes, why I thought. Yeah, yeah. Fourteen. So it's actually a fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fucking shit. Y'all are yeah. rolling oh, yeah, so just, good. <laughs> yeah. I haven't yeah. rolled under a ten tonight. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, he 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 feels that as you collide with his like <laughs> lower half and send a like literal bolt, like you see that same bolt yeah. action, like when you see like lightning hit mm-hmm. the ground where it's like not quite hitting the ground, it almost looks like mm-hmm. it's going in reverse. As he's struck with this green energy again, um, and Malthus sort of like uh, reaches down a hand towards you and grasps one of the bolts coming out of your shoulder mm-hmm. uh, on his turn and is holding you in place there. Okay. Uh, he like just did he that out of his turn. Of his like, neck and he just can't move. Essentially, he's not picking him up, but he's like got him by like one of the larger bolts coming out mm-hmm. of his shoulder and is kind of like pulling him towards himself. Like Malthus is pulling mm-hmm. you towards him. Uh, who would be next? You, Milo? Or uh, are you Clarence? Or you Cl- Cl- oh, oh, and Kevin. Yeah. I completely forgot oh, about Kevin. Oh, yeah. no, Kevin well, was you not- had said that Kevin was mostly going to be focusing on repelling the mist. But, but now the that mist the mist... mist. Yes. Yep. So I think, yeah, I think Kevin's going to hop in at the end of this stuff here. I think I'll stay in line with it and uh, we'll go Clancy. Yeah. Uh, or is it yeah. Billy uh, I guess. Next? Billy. Yeah, Billy. I, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Billy, uh, you mean, just saw, you just saw, no, no, it doesn't matter. We'll do Billy. Does it, he, you just saw Milo collide with this uh, creature, but he almost not he ate it in the way of like, he's like, oh, yummy. Give me another. He, but he like leaned into it and like, is like clearly plotting some shit. Uh, uh, what are you going to do in this So moment? just out of clarification, because it's something I'm a little confused about. The other cultists that are around, mm-hmm. have they dissipated? Are they like running away? They're now? unconscious. They oh, a few unconscious? of them. The one that was in front of you that's fighting you is still uh, still conscious, though. Okay. Uh, I will fling, because I had said I bit down on them. Yeah. I want to fling them at Proto Man. Uh, uh, the proto Malphus. Proto Malphus. No, go for it. Yeah. Because um, I figured that'll harm both of them. <laughs> I guess that's a still a kick some ass. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think that would be an act under pressure per se. Uh, that's gonna be seven. Seven. Yes. Seven. Yeah. Um, I think on a, <laughs> I think on a mixed success, you don't fling them, but you tear away <laughs> their like makeshift robes that they were wearing. Mm-hmm. And their butt and, and dick and balls fall out. <laughs> no, no, they, they fall unconscious with this bite. Yeah, but you like, see in front of you, it's Clancy's mom. Yeah, ah! yeah. I had a feeling. 
Oh, I was going to make it. So I'll say this now. Earlier, if you would have rolled on that uh, read a bad situation, you would have noticed that this cult specifically was not. It was missing a shoe. Uh, <laughs> Clancy I has not seen this. I mean, Clancy is. I usually yeah, no. walk over uh-huh. and start licking the wounds. Yeah, she oh, definitely no. has like a big bite mark kind of on her shoulder, but she's not like mortally like dead yeah. wounded. Yeah. She's just unconscious She now. needs help. Uh, clearly. Yeah, she needs help. Clearly help. not in her right she mind or maybe. Milk. Who knows? You don't know this, the, the, the circumstances by which she was made into one of these members bad mm-hmm. worst uh, maybe yeah. bad place bad time whatever yeah uh, but she is unconscious now and you do in fact find out that it is Clancy's oh. god which means the other ones were probably other people yeah, yeah. i figured you you do that and you go you, you say you're gonna go tend to her wounds after having yeah, heard I mean, her as soon as he sees who it is clancy he goes over and starts licking the wounds like dogs yeah. do and there's like a, yeah clancy you, you this this kind of plays out and malfus sort of like cocks his head and like looks at you and just like smiles he hasn't spoken words you get the feeling he can't speak mm. and i'm not even doing that as a cop out yeah. like no he's a crow he can only call yeah he hasn't spoken any words and uh he just kind of gives you this knowing sort of like (laughs) grimace like haha i got you you guys got skin in the game what are you gonna do about that clancy um so i have not noticed that yet um because i am flung back and dealt to harm which i'm a little boy and that hurts you know um (laughs) and i i you know kind of like catch my breath and I look at the piece of the planchette in my hand and I reach in my pocket and pull out the other pieces and I put it all together. Does anything immediately happen? Cause I have some, something I want to say and do, but like, does well, yeah, it the, like glow or does anything? Yeah, no. When you put the pieces together, it, it glows for a moment and like magically reforms itself, mm-hmm. like sealing the cracks, like perfectly yeah. sealed. And now it gives off that same sort of dull glow that the artifacts you all obtained earlier gave off, but not the glow of, the power coming from Malthus. This is a different energy, a different power. Uh, What do you do? Um, I want to hold, I want to take a look at the reformed planchette and look at Malthus. What if it works like a Pokeball? And I'm going to (laughs) hold it out in front of me facing like the glass facing Malthus and say, Mm -hmm. Demon Malthus. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. Get back as you to say the that, shit. As you say yes. that, your hand like does like the da, 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 Disney Channel, like yes. tracing like a little pentagram <laughs> in the sky. Yeah, but it traces like a little pentagram in the sky of this light as uh, that it, that same crackling sort of like arcane energy begins to coalesce around the 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 pentagram that you've created and it shoots out like a net and wraps itself around Malthus's body. And he begins to spiral in this like funneling tornado of this like red mist. And he lets out this like terrifying, like (laughs) screech as like those crows up above inside of the, uh, the uh the the pumpkin begin to like funnel down pulling towards him and he's like gripping literally grabbing the concrete floor leaving giant jagged marks no. as he's being pulled into this sort of vortex i've seen the end of tenacious d but into yeah it, it's very much a, i'm yes. so glad you picked up on that fuck it was you, a tenacious Cage. d joke fuck you jables you cables literally I'll that moment but he's just cawing d. and crowing as he's like being buffeted by stuff and he's not pulled into the planchette itself but into a point in the middle of the room kind of yeah. how he was manifest just kind of out of nowhere um but you watch his body slowly begin to apparate away and he kind of eyes you all down and just points a hand towards you like in a knowing sort of like way before being fully mm-hmm. uh, banished from this plane. Holy fuck. Uh, 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 Billy Dog wa- r- ha- bounds over to you two in a panic. <laughs> I didn't, you can I didn't speak really, normal words. I didn't I really that. think that was going to work <laughs> like that. Um, I'm glad it did. Uh, uh, he, is, he is hitting you with his head and leaps over to, and bounds over to your mom, panicked, looking at you. And <laughs> finally I see my mom and I'm like, Oh my god! And I rush over and pull out my phone and dial nine one one. Great work, boys! You hear as like a hand starts clapping, uh, and it's Jack of Lantern. Principal uh, Jack of Lantern. He's not the principal oh. at all. We're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, so this is our, this it. is our Monster High spinoff that we've decided to make, and this was oh, the oh boy, here we go. How do you guys he, like it? And he goes, um, I, I see you guys have uh, done as you were asked. 
got things back on track. I mean, Halloween definitely still ruined. However, we'll get them next year kind of energy, right? Right. Good good Fritz work. Miss I don't uh, Listen, Janet, I don't need the Miss Grace. Miss Grace, first try. Oh, so sorry. Hang on. And uh, the blue fl- he like flicks his hands like that and like the blue fire kind of like spreads out across her and any wound she has disappeared. She's still unconscious, okay. but she is not in immediate danger. Um, yeah, so good, great. Uh, hmm. Got a lot Got a lot to do when I get back. Uh, a lot of stuff to answer for. I don't understand who lo- allowed these artifacts to go out. Bad news. Don't know. Uh, don't know how to not have. You, 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 you won't not have these powers. I'm just going to put that out there flat. What do you Am mean? Am I going to be a boy again? Yeah. Eventually, just I'd avoid moonlight. Uh, you, I'd avoid getting a little too angry or anxious. And you just try to be more present, you know? Don't let people forget about you because then you'll start to feel weird about yourself and forget about yourself. And then now you're a ghost for real, for reals. Uh, there's no putting this genie back in the bottle. So this and is I just do apologize like for that. We are now? Could we have been a genie? Was that a choice? I'm just curious. No, that's not, that's not how that works. They're, they're their own kind of thing. Did I don't, we get some kind I don't of like reward know. for doing this? Uh, kind of. Wait, so, I already got one. He gave me a thing that's going to let me so, get back in uh, mechanics No, 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 no. Well, yeah, you, no, that's yes, true, you did get those little. I didn't get little, one of those. Um, and and that's when he, uh, that's when he, uh, isn't the power he moves of friendship? to the side and it's the janitor the reward of all. from your school. <laughs> the janitor? <laughs> mm-hmm. The janitor from your school is there. And, uh, the, like, when he shifts to the side, Jack is gone, but the janitor is in his place. Uh, there's a lot we need to discuss. Uh, you guys don't know it yet, but there's sort of a, a underlying thing of this kind of nature always happening. Everywhere, not just here in your small town on this one particular Halloween. Uh, I've got a group of people who were in similar circumstances to you all uh, stumbled upon an artifact or an item that they couldn't explain that was tied in some capacity to a terrible tragedy befalling their own uh, people. Unfortunately, their stories didn't all shake out the way yours did tonight. And uh, some of them lost a lot. But in in doing so, uh, they found a way to help others. It's called the Avengers uh, Initiative. <laughs> I, not quite, but it's like a, is this it, an it, Avengers it, or a Justice League? I actually League? have a I name. Won't join Justice League. No, no, no. I actually had a name written down. I'm so serious. Justice way League before this, and I fully but blanked on it. Not the movies. Uh, Todd in the Book of Pure Nightmares. Are you the professor? <laughs> No, I'm a ja- I, I'm daylight as a janitor. I can't be a if personal I put power. A Bible People ask on many you, questions. Are you gonna disappear? But yeah, he did that earlier. We already did this. Test. Wait, yes, I, is this holy the things Lynch really do? Fu- guy or yes, y- no, no. I I work for Mr. Jack. My name is uh, Samson, uh, but you might know me better as Bigfoot. Oh, and he. Uh, reveals a uh, medallion that he's wearing around his neck that looks like a fossilized footprint. Uh, Same gilded sort of gold coloring and stuff, uh, but it's giving off that same sort of similar glow to what you are. And he's like, yeah, I, along with a couple other people, uh, work round the clock in the shadows to continue to keep the shadows at bay if that makes sense. We're part of a team known as Cryptid. Covert response yielding protection through interdimensional <laughs> defense. Hell yeah. So would you yes. say like, that was would so you say good. like, would you, would you say like, this is a situation where like, we're going to have to assemble like hypothetically, uh, next time uh, all in due time. Why didn't you uh, this time though? I, again, like I said, this was not an isolated incident. I fear that there is something greater going on. And we were working with Mr. Jack of Lantern. <laughs> Changed his name to Jack of Lantern. Jack of, Lantern. <laughs> Very good. Uh, of working with, we've taken to working with Mr. Jack of Lantern to try to get a bit of an ear on the underside of things, if that makes sense. Uh, he, yeah. you, you know the 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 little snot nosed brother that talks about monsters and shit living under his bed. Well, that place is for real, for real. And if you believe in it hard enough, you'll stumble into that world. And it turns out that. There might be something going on to where that world is actually spilling over into our own. 
I can't say we'll call on you again in quite some time because you're all, like I said, still young. Yeah, but like probably next Halloween, you think? Uh, <laughs> how would you have guessed it? That is when the veil is the most thin, of course. But for now, we can get you guys into training, learning to harness and hone these powers. And maybe, just maybe, we'll need you again in the future. Am I going to look like this forever? Probably. Don't you forget <laughs> about me. <laughs> and then dead silence. Everybody dead silence. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Ooh, it's November. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that sure was spooky. I'm glad it's over. I'm not typically prepared to be so scared in Moon's Vember. That's what we call November in my world. Pretty crazy, right? Do you want to know my favorite dirty word in my world? Spronkle. You do not want to know what it means. <laughs>